Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be showing how to calculate the upper and lower confidence interval for a particular set of data in Jump. So uh, the data set that I have here is a film thickness of a certain polymer and the film thickness was measured using ellipsometer and uh, the measurements were also taken from 100 different samples. So here you have uh, 100 different uh, film thickness values for the same type of polymer. So now when you uh, plot a histogram uh, using the distribution platform in Jump, you can see that uh, under the uh, summary statistics here, uh, you can see there is mean, standard deviation, standard error, and the upper and lower confidence interval. So here, I'm interested in showing how the upper and lower confidence interval are calculated. Let me quickly switch over to PowerPoint uh, in order to explain this. So the formula that is used to make this calculation is uh, shown here. It is the sample mean plus or minus the t value that is obtained from the t distribution into the standard error. So here uh, S is the uh, standard deviation and uh, uh, N is nothing but the samples. And in this case, uh, the, uh, the number of samples is 100 and alpha is nothing but a risk factor uh, about which I'll talk about in another video. Um, uh, but uh, if you are calculating a, uh, let's say 95% confidence interval, then your uh, risk uh, that uh, the value is not going to fall uh, in the interval is going to be 5%. So in this example, uh, the alpha will be 5% in case you are calculating 95% uh, confidence interval. If you are calculating 90% confidence interval, then your alpha value will be 10. And uh, now uh, let me switch over to jump in order to show you how to calculate uh, the uh, t distribution. Uh, uh, so now uh, to open the t distribution uh, you can go to help and go to sample data and here in the help menu uh, you can open uh, teaching scripts go to interactive teaching modules and here you can open distribution calculator in the distribution calculator you can change the distribution to t and here degrees of freedom is nothing but uh, the number of samples minus one in this particular example that is 100 minus 1. So the degrees of freedom will be 99. And here you will be in inputting the probability. And in this case, we know that the probability is uh, 0.95 since we are calculating the 95% confidence interval. And also, uh, we'll be calculating the central probability. And uh, so here, if you change the probability to 0.95 and then hit enter, you can see that the T value is uh, 1.9842. So now, uh, if you uh, put in the t value, uh, so now we already have the uh, mean value here. We have the standard error. And then we just saw how to calculate the t value from the t distribution in jump. If you input all the values into this equation, uh, you can see that the upper and lower confidence interval can be calculated. And the calculated values here uh, are consistent with uh, what jump has automatically calculated before so it's always a good year although uh, you are not you know calculating these values every time so uh, uh, and since you know jump is automatically going to calculate these values every time when you create a histogram it is always a good idea to know the math that goes beyond uh, doing such calculations thank you